Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. To avoid overexposure to galvanized fumes, you should have proper ventilation and avoid direct contact with zinc oxide fumes. Welders who have many years of experience also recommend drinking milk before, during and after welding galvanized steel to lessen your risk of galvanized poisoning. Take our lead. Originally answered, does welding shorten your life? Welding involves intense heat, high electrical current, dangerous fumes and very bright light so training in procedure and safety is very important but no, if done correctly should not shorten one's life. Take our lead. Many businesses are looking for skilled welders and you can consider it one of the more secure jobs available. Striving towards safety awards and bettering your skills can also be high on your list. Welding may not be the choice for everyone, but for those interested, it can be a lucrative, rewarding career to have. Make your mark take our lead galvanized steel fumes can really do a number on someone's body while other fumes might cause only a mild amount of pain if you start to experience any of the problems above stop welding and go home very few welders have died the first time they become ill however after a couple years the damage starts to add up Take our lead. And welding causes several health hazards. But does welding cause cancer? Welding can certainly cause cancer, as it produces contaminants in UV radiations and fumes during both oxy fuel and electric arc welding. These are type 1 carcinogens, meaning they're cancerous. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.